The 102 Shreveport Little Theater is preparing for a grand old time at next week's Curtain Up Gala. The special night offers more captivating performances, fine dining. There will also be a touching farewell tribute to Dr. Robert K. Darrow, the theater's longtime artistic and general manager. Thank you so much for joining me. I know it's a little bit emotional, people. You know, when we think of SLT, we think of you. Uh, he's joining me now to talk about the preview of the Dress to Impress event. First, uh, tell us about the gala that's going to be honoring you. <laughs> well, it's coming up next yeah. Saturday, April 13th at 6 o'clock okay. at Eastridge Country Club, and it's going to be a wine and dine affair. Yeah. Is this one of the first type of, because we're so used to going to the Little Theater for the performances, and so is this the first time that they're, they've hold, uh, held a gala like this? No. Uh, in fact, we usually hold one every spring okay but it's been several years so this one is very important to us yeah. we need the funds we need the fundraising and we hope people will come out and support us yeah so talk about the funds how are the funds used to keep slt going well we have a very large facility mm -hmm. unlike other arts organizations okay. and the overhead keeps coming you know those bills keep coming and things break down we need to repair and replace so there's always something to spend the money on. All right, talk about the MC for the evening, Mike Martindale. Yes, uh, Mike Martindale is a DJ here in town. You may know him, uh, very popular. But he's also an actor, people may not know, wow. an actor and director, and he's uh, been on our stage um, dozens of times, and we're very fortunate to have Mike Martindale Yes. Well, we're fortunate to have you too. We're fortunate to have him and the arts community. Why is it so important uh, to, to maintain the arts here in the Shreveport Bossier area? Well, uh, you know, when industry is looking for a town or a mm -hmm. city, they look for uh, arts and extracurricular things for their employees. So it's important that we have the arts available to all of our citizens. All right, talk about the new roof that you need, the stage curtain, <laughs> just keeping up with things. Uh, you know, that will benefit, the proceeds will benefit that. Uh, yes, we have a long list of items that we need. Um, uh, curtains, uh, roof repair, some landscaping. So um, when you come, if you want to bid on an item, you will know where your money's going. It won't just go into a general fund. If you'd like to help out with the curtain, you'll know that's where your money's going. Fantastic. Okay, let's talk about your career at SLT. Tell me, uh, I, I know it's got, will it be an emotional farewell for you? <laughs> well, it will be. I, I'm not going away completely. I right. hope to stay on as a consultant, but I started 50 two years ago wow. at the Shreveport Little Theater. Wow. And I'm, uh, as a child actor, I'm 65 now. So, uh, and I've been employed there for 27 years. Wow. So it's, it's been my life and, uh, and it's come to, uh, <laughs> come to this. Right, you have to say farewell at some point, right? Yes, yeah. yes. Anything else you would uh, like to tell uh, the next general manager coming in or just people that want to get into uh, performances on the stage? Well, we're open to everyone. Uh, if you'd like to be on the stage, come on out. Sometimes we have beginners in leading right. roles. Mm -hmm. So, um, and then we have our veteran actors who have been at it all their life. So we learn from each other and we have a good time. We appreciate you and we appreciate the SLT uh, artistic community here uh, in, in providing those performances and you keep them going throughout the year. Even yes. through COVID, when we came back, you had the big performance at what was it, First Baptist yes. Church. Right, and good so, memory. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've been watching you guys for a long time and so I think, thank you, uh, thank you for what you do in our community. Oh, when you retire, you can come get on stage. Okay, I, <laughs> absolutely, I, absolutely. I love acting. Uh, and, and performing, and so maybe I'll do that. <laughs> Let's put the information up. The Shreveport Little Theater 2024 curtain up. Gala happens on Saturday, April the 13th. It runs from 6 until 10 p.m. at East Ridge Country Club. Proceeds from the event will go to the Shreveport Little Theater to buy tickets. You can head to showticks, the number four, you.com, or the Shreveport Little Theater website.